Welcome to ECLM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on the area of quadrilaterals and our area for today is rhombus. So we look at the different uh, methods we can use to calculate uh, area of a rhombus and we see that how that happens. So area of a rhombus, a, a rhombus is a special case of a parallelogram and its sides are equal and the diagonals bisect at 90 degrees. So we have these two situations. So you notice if you flip the rhombus, it forms like sort of two triangles, which are um, uh, isosceles. And so there's the upper one and the lower one. In this case, you can see the other way around works. So when we are calculating the area of our rhombus, basically we are looking for the area of the two triangles. But we have different ways to make your work easier when you are given the diagonals. The diagonals are the ones that are bise the perpendicular bisectors or when you are given one with an angle. So we are going to see those cases first. So the first thing you look at is this the normal, you've been given this question and you decide to go the long method. So when you look at this rhombus, you notice we, you can decide to take this one as a triangle and this one as a triangle so it looks like this so the upper one looks like this and we have p here we have s and q and then we have a perpendicular bisector so when you look at we have been told q s from the question this is seven centimeters and then you'll be told p r is four centimeters so if you divide by two this is two centimeters and then the other one which is uh, R, this is R, and then Q, and then S, this is seven centimeters and two. So basically we are taking two triangles, which is a half base times height. So it's a half times our base is seven times height, which is two, which gives us seven. And the other one also it's a half times base, which is two, uh, seven times two, which is height. So by 2, 1, by 2, 1. So it's basically 7 plus 7, which gives us 14. Or 7 times 2, which will give us 14 uh, centimeters squared. So that's how it's done. Or you can do it the other way around. So if you divide the triangle, if you take this triangle instead and this triangle, so you have Q here and then we have P. And our, now our base becomes 4 and our height becomes 7.7 7 divided by 2, which gives us 3.5. So it becomes 3.5. And the other one is the same. So it becomes a half times base, which is 4 times 3.5 by 2, 1 by 2, 2, 2 times 3.5 is 7. And the other one is also a half times 4 times 3.5 by 2, 1, by 2, 2, which gives 7. So 7 plus 7 gives 14. Or 7 times 7 gives, uh, times 2, sorry, times 2 gives 14 centimeters cube. So you can do that. You can decide to go through this method or basically you pick the diagonals, which I'm going to show in a minute. So what about the cases where you have given some sides and an angle? So you see this uh, rhombus, we have six centimeters, you know, everywhere is six centimeters, six centimeters. If you drop a diagonal cutting through this angle or this angle, you notice this triangle on the top. Let's look at this one. It looks like this. This one here with 75 degrees, six centimeters, six centimeters. Normally, if you can remember when we were discussing the previous a uh, lesson when we saw a triangle with two sides and an angle, we said the formula is going to be a half a b sine the alpha. In this case, it's going to be a half times six times six since they are equal, then times sine seventy five. So this is by two one by two three three times six is eighteen eighteen sine 75. I said again, you can decide to go to the long method and get use the logarithm instead to calculate our sine value 
or you can read the sign 75 directly from the sign table natural signs when you read it becomes 0 0.9659 0 0.9659 so now after you do that you multiply this by 18 so 0 0.9659 times 18 gives you 17.3862 so remember you do the same case you see this lower one also is the same Remember the angles, also this angle is 75, so it becomes 75 as well, 6 centimeters, 6 centimeters. Basically, you are repeating everything that is a half times 6 times 6 times sine 75, which still gives you 75.3862. So instead of doing all that, basically we say it's going to be a half, so it is a squared sine alpha which can be our angle if you multiply this by 2 this is becomes 2 times a half a squared sine alpha so this comes to cancel this so you are left with a squared sine alpha this brings us to the formula so you can use this instead of going to through all this process but if you do not remember the formula you can just remember the area of a triangle and then multiply it by 2 so let's do another question. So this one relates to what we have just discussed in the first, first question. So when you are given the diagonals, so instead of just going through the long process of getting the area of each triangle, we have a method diagonal times diagonal divided by 2. That gives you the area. In this case, we have a diagonal AC. So we have AC, this diagonal here, which is going to be 3.8. And we have another diagonal here, six centimeters. So instead of do of getting um uh, the area of one triangle and multiplying by two or adding the other one, we just do diagonal times diagonal over two. So one of the diagonal we're putting a capital because there are two different diagonals. So the first diagonal is three point eight times the second diagonal is six. You divide by two. So three point eight times 6 which gives you 22.8 if you divide this by 2 it gives you 11.4 so our area is going to be 11.4 centimeters cubed this makes your work much more quicker and much more easier and still you end up getting the same value finally find the area of a rhombus whose diagonals are 9.6 and 6.3 so we have just done that. So we said it's d times small d over 2. So this is going to be 9.6 times 6.0 divided by 2. So 9.6 times 6.0 gives us 57.6. Then you divide this by 2, which gives us 28.8, and it is centimeters squared. So that's how we, we tackle those questions. Remember, it may not be that direct. You can be given the area also, and maybe one side or one diagonal. You're going to look for the other diagonal. Or you can be given a, an angle and other sides, and you're going to look for the other sides. Either way, the, the formula is the same. Make sure you're able to remember those two formulas so that you can make your work easier. So that's it for today. Uh, make sure you check out more revision questions in the app and also more notes. See you in the next lesson.